Hello students, this is Sajik Keel, uh, physics A-levels uh, teacher. Uh, today I'm going to discuss um, some uh, questions of uh, cathode ray oscilloscope from AS physics. First of all, I am going to tell you some important points for CRO that you have to uh, remember. Uh, we know that uh, the use of, uh, we know about the use of the CRO that basically uh, it is a wave plotting device. So it is used to plot wave forms of different oscillations. Let's say it is used to plot waveform of our heartbeat. Uh, it is used to plot uh, waveform of our sound. It can be used to plot waveform of alternating current and many other things. Secondly, we can also use it like a voltmeter. So, you know, a voltmeter is used to measure potential difference or EMF or voltage. So, it can also be used as a voltmeter. Second and lastly, it can be used as a timer to measure short intervals of time. To measure short time intervals, which we cannot measure because we have some, when we operate the stopwatch manually, we are having human reaction error. So that human reaction error is having a large value. So if we are going to measure a time that is smaller than our human reaction error, then of course we can't measure that time. So for that, we have to use a CRO. Okay, in the CRO, uh, two switches are very important. And uh, one of them is X sensitivity, which is also known as time base switch. So these are the switches, just like on the television, we have zoom in, zoom out, volume, low, volume, high buttons. In the similar way, CRO is having these two buttons. So X sensitivity are time base. This actually controls the movement of wave along X axis. So this switch can be used to uh, decrease the uh, wavelength or increase the wavelength. Second switch is Y sensitivity or it is also known as gain switch. So as it is clear that this is Y sensitivity, so this is used to control the amplitude of wave and that is of course along Y axis. So you can decrease or you can increase the amplitude of a wave, plotted wave by using X sensitivity, uh, Y sensitivity. So for X sensitivity, the unit is millisecond per division or it is millisecond per centimeter. While for Y sensitivity, the unit that is written on the Y sensitivity or gain switch, that is usually millivolt per division or millivolt per centimeter. Now you must be wondering that what is this millisecond per division and what is this centimeter? So I can sketch a small uh, screen of the CRO. This is known as the CRO screen or this is the grid. So this is the grid or CRO screen and that is in the form of a graph. So uh, all the screen is covered with small graph-like boxes like this. Okay. Now the next thing is uh, when the wave is going to be plotted on it, let's say a wave is plotted like this. like this. So this screen is the wave, which is of, which can be of sound or current or any other thing. Okay, so um, in order to control the movement of wave, there are two switches. The one is gain and the other one is time base. So this square is actually known as one centimeter or it is also known as one division. So it means that the value of gain means that how many voltage one square represents along y axis and voltage of time uh, and the value of time base uh, means that how many uh, how many milliseconds are being represented by one square along x axis 
Okay, now uh, there are some equations that we have to use, and these are very important equations. The first one is when you use CRO as a uh, timer, so the equation is time or time period equals time base, which is X sensitivity as well, multiplied by wavelength. Okay, so time base, of course, this will be given in the question as its unit is millisecond per division and wavelength, you will measure yourself. This is, you can say number of divisions or centimeters in one complete wave. Like if you look on the left, the, in the diagram, uh, you can see that how many uh, divisions are there in one wave. So if you start from here, so this is one, two, three, and four. So actually the wavelength, its wavelength is equal to four. So we say that this is four. So the wavelength would be four over there. Secondly, if you want to find frequency, that is the easy way, like one over T and this T must be in seconds. And lastly, if you want to find voltmeter as a, as the CR as a voltmeter, then uh, the equation will be like peak voltage equals gain multiplied by amplitude. So this is, and this, these two are the important equations that we're going to use in every question of this worksheet. Gain, of course, this will be given in the question and its unit will be millivolt uh, per centimeter and amplitude will be number of division or centimeter uh, from mean to highest point of the like the usual way that uh, you calculate amplitude. Like in this, if you look at uh, this diagram, uh, in this diagram, uh, the amplitude is like from here to here. So you can say that the amplitude is one, one, two, three, and four um, divisions. So over here, the amplitude is four divisions and the wavelength was also four divisions. So you can use these values in the equation. So uh, this is the important stuff related to um, the CRO. Now we have to start solving the questions. You have to read the question very carefully. And if you read the first question, it says that the cathode oscilloscope displays shows the waveform produced by electronic circuit. The CRO time-based setting is 10 milliseconds per division. So this is your time-based value. 10 millisecond per division. So this is the waveform. What is the period of the signal? Period means time. You have to find the time. So we know that time period is time base into wavelength. And time base is 10 millisecond per division. And wavelength is how many divisions are there in one wave? You know, one wave is this. So this is one, two, three, and four divisions. So multiply it with four. So this division will be canceled away. So it is 40 milliseconds. So the answer will be 40 milliseconds. Now let's move to question number two. And question number two states that an oscilloscope displays consists of two separate traces of the waveform in the form of a long horizontal line. The long horizontal line may be taken as zero level. So they're saying that take this as a zero level, like you have to measure the amplitude from here. The grid on the screen is calibrated in centimeter squares. The time-based setting is 2.5 milliseconds. This is the first important value. And the Y sensitivity is five millivolt per centimeter. Okay. Now, what you have to do is, what is the period? Like you have to find the time period and the peak positive voltage, like the maximum voltage of the waveform in the diagram. Okay. So actually you have to apply both the formula over here. So let's apply the first formula for the period, uh, it is like uh, time base into wavelength. So you know wavelength, let's say if this wave starts from here, so this is like over here till here is the one wave. I just make a sine wave inside it because this is the harmonic wave. So it is not, um, it's difficult to understand. So whenever the wave is difficult to understand, like you don't know from where you have to start and where, will be the first wave will be completing. So you have to draw the sine wave in it. So a crest and trough makes one wave. So this is one wave. How many divisions are there? One, two, 
three and four, so approximately four. And what is the time base? The time base was given over there. So you are putting its value over here, which is 2.5 millisecond multiplied by four. So it will be 10 millisecond. So the period should be 10. So A and B are canceled away. Now you have to look for the peak voltage that is like gain into amplitude. So how much is gain? The gain is five millivolt per second. So you'll put the gain value over here, five. And how much is the amplitude? Peak positive voltage. So the amplitude is like this. So it is like almost, you can say one, two, three. And this is more than like half of it. So this is around 3.75, around 3.75, because I have taken this as one. Okay, if I have taken this as one, so you can say this is like, you can say this is 3.5. So let's just make it 3.5. So that is almost like 17.5. And over there, this is 17 and 25. So yes, you will be selecting C as the answer. Okay, question number three. Question number three states that this is the diagram which is showing the square wave trace on the CRO and the time base setting is 10 millisecond per centimeter. Now, what you have to do is you have to find the approximate frequency of the, of the square wave. Okay, but I was, I was telling you about uh, this question. The time base is uh, 10 millisecond per centimeter, and you have to find the approximate frequency. This is a hint that maybe you will not be getting the accurate answer, but for that, you have to look for the any nearest answer. So if you want to find frequency, you know, frequency is one over time period, and time period is time base into wavelength, right? The time base value over here is given as 10 millisecond per centimeter. All you have to do is look for this wavelength. How many, how many divisions are there? How many centimeters are there in one wave? So you can, you can start varying wave from any point, let's say from this, because this is on the line. So like this is crest and this is truck. So one wave is completed over here. So the easier two ways are there. I'm telling you the short way. So now what you have to do is you have to approximately see that how much is this division? Is it 0 0.5? No, it is more than that. So it is around 0 0.75. So you can say, okay, it is 0 0.75 centimeters. So now the answer will be 7.5 millisecond for T. And now you have to put this value over there it will be one over 7.5 into 10 to the power negative three, right? So when you will do that, <clears throat> and when you will solve it, uh, the answer is coming out to be 1000 divided by 7.5. So that is 133. So the answer is 133 hertz. And you know, now you have to look for the answer that is closer to that. So that's why B is your answer. Question number four is very simple. Uh, this is a 12 volt and 50 hertz supply. So this is the voltage and this is the frequency is connected to the wire terminal of an oscilloscope. The trace is shown. Okay, this is the trace. What is the setting of the time base control? So now they're asking you to find time base value. We say, okay, time base mean time period is time base into wavelength. Time period is not there, but frequency is there. So you know time is one over frequency you will be putting the value of frequency as 50 hertz, as it is 50. So one over 50 equal time base into wavelength. Wavelength mean how many divisions are there in one wave. So one wave is from here to here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So eight divisions are there. And now you'll solve it like one over 50 into eight equal time base. So it is like one over 400, and then you will solve uh, one over 400, and that will be your answer. It is 0 0.0025. Now, the thing is, this answer is not visible over there. So what you have to do is, of course, you have to uh, write this in some prefix because it is millisecond, 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 and millisecond. So convert this into millisecond. So it will be one, two, and three. So 2.5 to 10 power minus three second per centimeter 
So now this tends for minus three is milli, so it is 2.5 millisecond per centimeter. So this is your answer. Okay, number five. Number five is again, two ray traces are shown. One is X, like this one is X, and the other one is Y. So this is Y. So what is common thing in them? They have the same wavelength. They have the same wavelength. So what is their wavelength? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So wavelength, the wavelength is eight divisions. Okay, now they're saying that the signal X has a frequency of 50 hertz. So this is X with a frequency of 50 hertz and its peak voltage are 12 volts. And now they're asking you to find the period and peak voltage of Y. So you have to find time period and peak voltage of Y. Now for time period, you will see that, uh, what is the time period for X? It is T equal one over F, one over 50 and one over 50 is 0 0.02 second. And then if you convert that into millisecond, it will be 20 millisecond, like you have converted second into milli. So now as the wavelength is same, so the time period for both the waves would be same, because the wavelength is same. So it is 20, so C and D are canceled away. Now for the voltage, you will see that what is the gain? So the voltage is actually gain into amplitude. So you don't know the gain, but the amplitude for Y is one. So now what you have to do is you have to find the value of gain. So the value of gain is uh, calculated from uh, the other wave, from the X wave. Okay, so we say that for X voltage is gain into amplitude. Its voltage is 12, which is given over there. Uh, that is the voltage is 12. And then you have to find an amplitude of X is one, two, three. So three, it means the gain value is 12 over three, which is four. So gain is four. So what you will do is you'll put four over there. So you know four into one is four volt. So it means the peak voltage is four. So option A. Question number six, <clears throat> again, a bit similar question. Um, Again, the trace is there and the voltage scaling is four volt per centimeter. This is like gain or by sensitivity. And then the time scaling is this. So this is actually time base or this is X sensitivity. Okay, now what is the amplitude and period of the wave? So you have to find its amplitude and uh, its uh, period. So actually over here, it doesn't mean, with amplitude, it doesn't mean that you have to count the height. If you look at the unit, amplitude unit is volt. It means over here, amplitude actually means peak voltage. What is the peak voltage? So you will decide from the unit of amplitude that whether you just have to count that how many divisions are there, or you have to see, you have to measure the voltage. So over here, it is actually the peak voltage. So for the peak voltage, the formula is gain into amplitude. So this gain is how much? This is four. And amplitude is now actually number of divisions uh, from mean line to the highest point. Now a problem is over here that actually the mean line is over here at the center. This is at the center. So now the amplitude is like this is 0.5 and this is one. So it is actually 1.5. So amplitude is 1.5. So when you multiply it, your answer is six volt. So it is actually six volt. So since neither of the options are six, so it means C is your option. But we can find the time period as time base into wavelength. So time base is written over there, which is five millisecond. And wavelength is like how many divisions are there in one wave? So one, two, three, and four, right? Because till here is the wavelength, which is four. So you know, four twos are 20. So this is, four fives are 20. So this is your option. Question number seven, the following trace is seen on the screen of the cathode ray oscilloscope. The setting of the time base is then changed from 10 to 20. Okay, now initially this was with time base of 10 millisecond per division. And now they change it to 20 and the Y sensitivity is unaltered. So it means Y sensitivity is not changed. So it means the amplitude will remain the same. So it means amplitude will remain the same. 
So now if you look over here, this is the mean line. So how much is the amplitude one and two? So you have to see that where is the amplitude two? Over here it is four, so this is not. Over here it is one and two, so this can be the option. Over here it is like 1.5, so this cannot be the option. And uh, no, over here actually it is two. So yes, this can be, this can be the option. And over here, the amplitude is one, two, three, four. So this cannot be done. So you have to choose from B or C now. So the next thing will be helpful, which is actually when you change the time base, what would happen to it? So you know, time period is time base into wavelength and time base, uh, sorry, the wavelength is time period over time base. And actually wavelength is inversely proportional to time base. So now you have increased the time base two times. So when you increase it two times, wavelength should be decreasing two times. So over here, the wavelength was one, two, three, and four. So wavelength was four. So now time base is increased two times. So wavelength should be decreased two times. So the wavelength should be two. So when you look that where it is two, so in the option C, the wavelength is two, but in option B, it is eight. So it means your option is C. Okay, now this question is very simple. Two pulses are there, like this is your pulse one and this is your pulse two. So they're saying how long each pulse lost, how long each pulse lost. So the time base setting is one microsecond Per centimeter. But this is like one and one. So one plus one is two microsecond. It means the wave is lost. One pulse is lost in for two. Remember, if they ask you about the gap between the two pulses, so you'll be taking lambda as identical gap between identical points. But if they're saying how long a pulse can last, so you'll be using the width of the pulse. Question number nine, again, very simple. And same idea is there. The time base setting is shown as six millisecond per centimeter. Two pulses are there. What is the time interval between the pulses? See, this is the question I was talking about, between the pulses. So this 4.5 is actually the distance between the identical point of the pulses. The so time is time base into wavelength. Time base is six millisecond per centimeter and wavelength is 4.5 centimeter. So you'll multiply them. So you'll get the answer of around 27 milliseconds. So this is your option. Number 10, the Y input terminals of cathode or oscilloscope are connected to supply of peak value five volt and frequency, like this is the peak value and this is the frequency 50 hertz. The time base setting is 10 millisecond per division. This is time base and Y terminal is five volt per division. Okay, this is like gain. So which phase is obtained? Well, very easy thing. Uh, you know that peak voltage is gain into amplitude. So how much is the voltage? It is five, it is five. And you know, five is written over here. This is five, okay. Then how much is the gain? It is like five volt per division. And how much is the amplitude you have to find? So this five and five will be canceled away. So the amplitude will be one division. So you have to look for the wave where amplitude is one division. Over here is more than one. Over here is more than one. Over here it is one. Over here it is one. So option can be from C and D. But now we have to look for the time base option. So you know time period is time base into wavelength. Time period can also be written as one over frequency because the frequency value is given over there. So how much is time period? It is 10 millisecond per division and lambda you have to find and frequency also given 50. So one over 50 equal 10 into lambda. So one over 50 is actually 0.02 and this is 10 millisecond actually. So you'll be converting it into second. So 0 0.02 over 0 0.01. So lambda will be one. So it means lambda will be one division. So where is one? Over here it is one. So this is your final answer because over here lambda is two. So sorry, over here lambda is two. So this cannot be option. So C is your correct option. Question number 11. 
a whale produces sound okay a whale produces sound waves of frequency 5 hertz the waves are detected by microphone and displayed on the oscilloscope what is the time based setting on the oscilloscope so you have to find the time setting so you know time period is time based into wavelength and if time is not directly given frequency is given so we can replace it with 1 over so it is like 1 over 5 equal time base into how much is lambda so lambda means number of divisions in one wave so it is actually 2 so time base is 1 over 5 into 2 1 over 10 so our trick is there this is 0 0.1 second per division but now over there it is millisecond 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 and millisecond it means you have to convert this time base value into millisecond so it is like 0 0.1 0 .1 into 10 to the power 3 into 10 to the power minus 3. And this minus 3 stands for milli. So you multiply these two together to get 100. And at place of minus 3, you'll be writing millisecond. So it means it is 100 millisecond per division. Okay, question number 12. The CRO screen is showing is connected to alternating voltage and the trace is shown the time base setting is 5, 0.5 millisecond per centimeter and y plate sensitivity is 2 volt per centimeter so which statement about alternating voltage is correct so this is a bit tricky question because you have to tell about alternating voltage the amplitude is 3.5 if you look from here it is 1 2 3 and 3.5 but this is not correct because this is the amplitude of trace, not the wave. So 3.5 is amplitude of trace, not the wave, not the alternating voltage. And they are asking you to find what is true about alternating voltage. So this is not true. The frequency is 0 0.5 Hertz. So uh, if you uh, know the formula, time period is time based into wavelength time base is uh, like 0 0.5 millisecond per division and wavelength is like one two three and four divisions so it is four so it is actually two millisecond and when you find frequency it is one over t so one over two into 10 to the power minus three so it is actually 500 hertz so it means that uh, actually this trace represents the frequency of the wave. So yes, that is 500 Hertz, and this can be written as 0 0.5 kilohertz. So this seemed to be correct to me, but let's check other. The period is one millisecond. No, this was actually two milliseconds. So this is incorrect. The wavelength is four centimeter. Yes, but this is wavelength of trace, not the original wave. Original wave would be having different wavelength. So it means this is incorrect. So your only option is B, which is correct. Okay, now we have to move to MCQ number 13, which is second loss MCQ. Uh, the display on the cathode oscilloscope shows the signal produced by alternating electronic circuit. The time-based setting is five nanosecond per division, and the Y gain is 10 volt per division. So what is the frequency of the signal? So you know frequency is one over t, so actually you have to find t. So t is time base into wavelength. And time base is five nanosecond per division. And wavelength is like, this is the crest. So crest to crest is actually the wavelength. So this is one, two, three, and four divisions. So this four and four cancel the way. So this is 20 nanoseconds. So time is 20 nanosecond. Put it over there. 20 into 10 to the power minus 9. So this is 1 into 10 to the power 9 because you shift it up over 20. So when you solve it, uh, you will have the answer of Five into ten to the power seven. All right. It means this is your answer. Last question: A signal that repeats periodically is displayed on the screen. This, these are the pulses. This is pulse one, and now this is this is the complete pulse actually. 
this is first one and the third one are incomplete pulses but the second one is the complete pulse so they're saying that time based setting is 2 millisecond per centimeter what is the frequency so again you have to use the formula time period is time base into wavelength so time base is 2 millisecond now about the wavelength you have to see that what is the distance between identical point of the pulses so if you keep this so this and this you have to see how many divisions are there so it is five even you can note from here to here so that would be like one two three four five so actually wavelength is five so this will be 10 millisecond so now if it is 10 millisecond you can easily find frequency i'm working it over here f is one over t so one over 10 milli milli is minus three so it is one into 10 is per plus three over 10 so this is 100 hertz, your answer is 100 hertz. So I hope that, um, uh, I hope that this thing will work. The answer for 14 is B and for 13 is C and rest, you know all the answers. In the next video, I'm going to solve some theory questions, which are from paper two um, in the AS levels. So thank you so much students. I hope that uh, the solution of these videos will be useful for us, useful for all of us, of course, for all of you as well. So take care and uh, well,